Hello, welcome to Jersey Line. Having my morning coffee as I consider tonight's Thursday night game and the rest of the week end game right into Monday. Had a pretty bad week last week. Went seven and nine. There were some controversial losses. Uh, the games I lost. Again, I knocked out another quarterback. I had Trubisky in uh, Chicago. Won the game anyway, but Trubisky's out. So I, th I think that's like six quarterbacks I've jinxed so far this year. Remember, Jordy Line, don't bet more than you can afford. Bet with your head, not over it. Bet with me. Uh, my year-to-date numbers are on the screen. I, I need a good week. You know, last year I had some 11 and 4 weeks, uh, you know, uh, 12 and 5, you know, 12 and, and 4, that sort of thing. I'm just piddling around here. I got a 9 and 6, 7 and 9. Let's see if we can change that this week. Thursday, two nights game. We got Seattle Seahawks. I like Seattle. Consistent team all year round. They kind of play it close and they're pay, playing the, the Rams, the Seattle's at home. They traditionally play it close, and I think the Rams won the last two games. The Rams got wiped by Tampa Bay, who I had last week, getting 10 points. Uh, they may have been exposed. I'm looking for the Rams to come back again. I like Seattle, but I'm going to take the Rams getting a point and a half. Not often you get the Rams getting points. One o'clock game. We got Baltimore at Pittsburgh. Man, did Baltimore get spanked. Uh, Pittsburgh... They beat my Cincinnati Bengals. Cincinnati was good with me all year. It's the first game, first game I lost with them. They were there. They were the point fairies for me. It's Baltimore at Pittsburgh. Uh, Baltimore was exposed. Pittsburgh's a solid team. I'm going to go with Pittsburgh. And I'm getting three and a half. In London, NFL's going European. They're trying to get more uh, fans. They're in London. We got Chicago versus the Oakland Raiders. Raiders pulled one out last week. I'm going to go with Chicago. Their backup quarterback, Chase Daniels, he's not that bad. He can manage the game, and Chicago's got an overwhelming defense. I'm taking Chicago minus five points. One o'clock game again. We got Cincinnati home versus Arizona. I'm going back to Cincinnati. I'm going back to Cincinnati again. And uh, I'm giving three and a half points to Arizona. Arizona's got a long season coming ahead. Uh, one o'clock game again. We got Carolina uh, home minus three and a half versus Jacksonville. I'm going to go with the mustache quarterback. I'm going to take Jacksonville and I'm getting three and a half points. What is that? Mishu? Mishi? Is the guy's name? Uh, one o'clock game. Minnesota at my Giants. My Giants. Minnesota. A lot of dissension going on. We got the wide receivers calling out the quarterbacks. I think they're going to get it together. You got Kubiak there as the offensive coordinator. You know, you remember him with Elway. They like to run off, tackle, pass when they have, have to. I think they're going to come out passing tonight, uh, Sunday, excuse me, because you can pass on the Giants. Uh, I'm going to take Minnesota, give them five and a half. One o'clock game, New England at the team of dysfunction. Now, Two worst teams in the NFL, the Dolphins and the Washington. The Dolphins are tanking for Tuba, and Washington is just terrible. I'm surprised Gruden is still there. I'm going to take New England, even though they got a kicking problem, minus 15 and a half points at Washington. One o'clock game, Philadelphia against the Jetsies. It's going to be a long game for the Jetsies. Philadelphia's got a great run defense. The only thing the Jets got going right now is Bell running offense. Uh, I'm going to take Philadelphia, giving the Jetsy 13 and a half points. Might not be as bad as it was with New England, but the Jetsies, I don't think they're going to cover that spot. New Orleans at home versus Tampa Bay. Did Tampa Bay figure it out? I hope so, because I'm taking Tampa Bay, visiting New Orleans, getting three and a half points. Drew, Drew Brees isn't back yet. Nothing against Bridgewater, but I liked how Tampa Bay's playing. Uh, one o'clock game. We got Houston, home versus Atlanta. Yeah, I'm off the Atlanta bandwagon. You know, Matty Ice, he, he's just not doing it this year. Uh, I think it's time for a house cleaning there. I'm going to take Houston minus five points. Tennessee versus Buffalo. I was on the Tennessee bandwagon earlier this year. 
I am off the Tennessee bandwagon. I'm taking the Buffalodians plus three points. The Chargers home versus Denver. Ah, rival, rivalry game here. It's a big spot. It's uh, Chargers minus uh, six and a half. I'm going to go with the Chargers, giving the six and a half points. Four o'clock game. Dallas is home versus Green Bay. You're giving me Aaron Rodgers and three and a half points. I'm taking Green Bay and three and a half points. Eight o'clock game. You got Kansas City versus Indy. Uh, I think the wheels are starting to come off the cart a little bit in Indianapolis. I'm going to go with KC, who does have a problem covering the spreads, but I'm going to go with them this week. I'm going to take KC home, giving ten, uh, giving ten and a half, minus ten and a half. Monday night game. I got San Francisco versus Cleveland. I do not believe in Cleveland. I'm going to go with San Francisco minus three and a half. But remember, bet with your head, not more than you can afford, and bet with me. I'll take you broke. Let's see what we do this week. Good luck. Good night.